Hi everyone, I had a request from someone on the Filofaxi Facebook group um, to do a video about using Canva, um, how to choose a template, um, printing more than one um, design per page and also aligning the front and back um, so they print back to back. Um, with the alignment of the front and back, I always print on sized paper. So I always print on Franklin Covey compact sized paper, cut to size first. I just find that a lot easier. So that is how I print um, on the front and back. Um, printing more than one page. Again, I don't really do that because I print on, on cut paper already. Um, I just find it so much easier. Um, but with choosing a template, I'm just going to show you sort of what I do. So if you go to templates, um, you can see there are thousands and thousands of templates. Some are free and um, some are um, pro or paid. Um, so if you've got the um, paid version of Canva, then you can use those ones. Um, if not, I've, I've just got the free version. So if you wanted to make a dashboard, you could choose any template. Um, you can also change um, the template um, within here. Once you've once you've chosen a template, you can switch it to a different one if you want to. Um, and all you do is you just amend things as you want them. So we could make this a nice autumn. Um, dashboard so you can choose different elements and um, you can choose photos uh, again you can get pro and free photos so you can just search for autumn just if you've already got photos on the page you can literally just drag drag new photos where they were um let's go for this one and then you can just put um, whatever you want there I can't really think of anything to put there at the moment um, but you could put like a dictionary definition or something so that's sort of a, a dashboard idea um, and then you can also do lists and things sometimes I like to do um, sort of a, a specially designed page so it stands out in my planner so you would have seen my, or you might have seen my um, zone cleaning lists. So I made those on Canva. I did just um, sort of choose my own font and, and type it out. I didn't really use a template for that. But sometimes I do use templates for lists or um, a page with information on it just so it stands out. So you can type list and you've got all these this template so you can change the background colour, change the background colour, you can change the font. So really choosing templates it's kind of a personal preference. Um, just choose what you like, have a play around with it um, and, and see what happens. So I hope that helps. Um, with um, creating a template so I go to I usually go to create a design custom size and then I've got 10.5 by 17.1 which is the size that I use I think it's slightly smaller than Franklin Covey width wise um, but that's what I use and then it will show you all the templates in that size um, and you can just have a play around replace the pictures um, and yeah 
so it's quite good quite easy to use you can also one of my favorite um functions is if you click on the color click on the plus sign and click on the little um uh, like pipette symbol and you can pick a color out of your picture so you just move this around until it's over a color that you like and then click done down there and you can make it match your picture which is really useful i really like the feature um so if you've got any questions please put them below um and yeah have fun with canva